You're watching BBC News, our main headlines this hour. The BBC has apologised unreservedly for broadcasting a programme containing false allegations of child abuse against a senior Conservative politician from the Thatcher era. The director of the CIA, David Petraeus, has resigned after admitting to an extramarital affair. And let's stay with that story because we can speak now to Toby Harnden, author of a book called Dead Men Risen, which is set in Afghanistan. Uh, Toby, you actually met General Petraeus. He's had a, such a remarkable career. In your opinion, is this resignation in line with his character? Well, you're right. I mean, I first met him in 2003 in Iraq um, and I interviewed him with other journalists in um, 2010, two years ago in, in Afghanistan. And um, he was always the sort of figure that had, you know, future presidents or certainly future greatness um, written all over him. Um, and the news today has been an absolute bombshell. And I think everyone's reaction would be that, no, this is not in character. And somebody who seems so self-disciplined and so focused um, and, and has given so much for his country to um, probably the detriment of his personal life, it, it, it's, really, it's really one of those piece of news that are, are, are truly shocking. And what do you make of the timing? Because not only is it just a few days after the election, but it also comes before the general was actually due to testify at a hearing on the deaths of the US personnel who were killed in Benghazi. Well, yes. I mean, there are a lot of people who are um, asking questions about the timing and, and saying that it seems suspicious. And one um, sort of odd aspect of this is General Petraeus has, has indicated, apparently, that he will not testify before Congress uh, next week um, in hearings about Benghazi, uh, which he, he was planning to do. It will be now his, his deputy and the, the new acting director, Mike Morell, who will, who will do that. But, I mean, from, from what I can gather, um, this, is, this is something that came up separately from, from Benghazi. It was a, an FBI investigation that, that, that uncovered um, details of a possible affair and, and, um, and things un unfolded from that. So it could be a coincidence, but obviously there are many people in politics with good reason who, who are sceptical about coincidences. And do we know why he was being investigated or, what, or what, how, how this affair was uncovered? Just give us, explain us more about that. Well, it's, uh, it's all very hazy at the moment, as you would expect with, with, with something like this. Um, and it's, it's happened so um, very recently. Um, but what I gather is that the FBI was conducting an investigation into a subject unrelated to um, General Petraeus, and, and in fact unrelated to the, the, the woman he's um, uh, supposedly had the affair with. Um, but information about this affair came up um, as, a result, as part of that investigation, and there was an initial feeling um, that perhaps um, General Petraeus was some kind of victim or might be being open to blackmail and um, things sort of um, spiralled from there. And I, I do understand that one of, the, one of the central issues here is whether, um, obviously, somebody with the very highest security clearances, General Petraeus, whether he disclosed any um, intelligence information or any classified information to the, to the, to the woman he was having um, the affair with. And uh, I gather the FBI is, is investigating that currently. Okay, Toby Harnden, we have to leave it there. Thank you very much for speaking to us.